Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm Dave, aka The Costume Kid, and today we're going to be making Wade Watts' outfit from the new Steven Spielberg movie, Ready Player One. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of a lot of the nerdy things that are going to be prevalent in this movie. I'm also a huge fan of the book. It's probably one of the best books I've ever read, so I am just really excited for this movie. Also a little bit worried. So we're going to be making Wade Watts' costume as seen in this picture here. Not to be confused with his Avatar Parzival's costume. I'm not making that one, so just wanted to state that before it gets confusing. But let's get started. First things first, the costume pieces from the thrift store. I picked up this gray long sleeve shirt here. It's going to be a nice base to this costume. I also picked up this kind of plaid blue, green, gray flannel thing here. I tried to match his shirt in the movie, and I think this is as close as I could get. It's not exact, but I mean, who's going to be paying that much attention? As for this here, I think this is all we pretty much need. We don't need to do any modifications to it, but the gray shirt has quite a bit of maroon and some details on it, so let's work on that first. Alright, so on Wade's gray shirt, it's actually not entirely gray. It has quite a bit of maroon on the top and on the sleeves. So, since I couldn't find anything like that, I think we're just going to go with the second best option, spray paint. This is the most basic way I can think to do it. Just mask off the sleeves and the part of the shirt that are maroon, and then just hit it with some spray paint. Quick pointer, don't do this too heavy of a coat or it might get a little crusty and kind of feel stiff as a shirt. If you do enough to the point where it's visible but don't overcoat it, it should look just right. Hey guys, so Future Dave here with a quick cut in. I just saw the movie, loved the movie, and I'm not quite sure if the sleeves on the shirt are actually maroon. It might be a much darker red or even black. On the poster that I was looking at when making this shirt, uh, it's some really warm lighting, but it looks to me dark red. I don't know if you guys think that. But then in the movie with the other types of lighting, I think it's black, black sleeves on the shirt, not maroon, so guess I was inaccurate. That's the risk I take when I make these costumes before the movie comes out, so sorry about that. But he also wears multiple other shirts, and the colors of those sleeves are like blue and orange, so if he's going to wear an orange sleeve baseball tee, I don't think it's out of the question that Wade probably might wear the red one sometime in the stacks, you know, so that's why I'm okay with it. Alright, I've made a baseball tee here. This thing's looking pretty good. You probably can't even tell that these sleeves are painted on. I'm ready to try this. Realizing now that you totally cannot see the red sleeves. So you could skip that, but there are also shots in the trailer of him wearing just the shirt and no sleeves, so I decided to keep it. Now his shirt isn't just a solid gray baseball tee. It actually has a lot of a complicated design on it. Now I have no idea what this means. Uh, maybe some circuit board or maybe some map for the Oasis, who knows. But it's a really cool looking design that uh, just drew on with a black fabric marker right onto the shirt. And uh, I think it looked pretty good. All right, that is it for the most time consuming part of this entire project, the shirt. All right, now that the main clothing is done, we are ready to move on and do some of the more accessory pieces, and that first being his VR gear. First thing being his visor. You can't have a virtual reality headset without a visor, and uh, his is pretty cool. It's white and sleek looking, and uh, I'm ready to make it. All right, the time has come to make Ty Sheridan's visor. No, not that visor. This visor. I am very excited about this. We are going to start off with some 5mm black craft foam. I cut that into a nice strip and then looking at some safety goggles I had lying around, I tried to make the right shape looking at the picture and the goggles, just trying to get it right, you know, like a VR headset um, visor thingy. And then I cut some curves into it so it would fit around the contour of your own face. And then they're pretty much good to go on the main shape there. I painted it with some white spray paint. You could also have used white craft foam, I didn't have any. While that was drying, I made the visor, which I've done before on my Boba Fett. 
is where I take a two liter soda bottle of some clear plastic, uh, I cut out a nice piece of it, and then I color it with a Sharpie. Now the reason I do it that way is because you can still see through it a little. It's like looking through sunglasses, so it's at least a little bit visible, but they can't see your eyes because it looks black to them. With the visor dry from spray paint, I added some black elastic and the black plastic on the front, and then it's just ready for finishing details. Alright, this thing is looking pretty awesome right now. There's a couple finishing touches I want to do. Some of the official things that are on there, it says IOI on the side, and then it has some red details. And then, way to even customize it a little bit, there's actually a Batman sticker he put on the side, so I'm going to add that. Alright, that is it for this awesome Oasis visor. Now it's time to make Wade's pretty cool looking customized neck piece. I really like this because it looks like something kind of factory made that Wade just totally modified with some awesome DIY materials like me. But it starts with a metal frame kind of around the neck, you know what I'm saying? And to make that, I'm going to be using this coat hanger. This coat hanger is the same one from earlier, it's got some maroon paint on it, but if we snip the end of it, then I'm pretty sure with a little bit of heat maybe, we can bend it around and get the right shape. Alright, so I totally broke this coat hanger. They're not as easy as I expected to bend them into shape, so I'm going to switch gears entirely and make this out of wire. Now I know his is a metal frame and this is flimsy wire, so it's not going to be quite the same, but this is, you know, actually pretty stiff and it's thick enough, a lot easier to work with, so I'm good to use this. Alright, so here's my completed frame for the neck piece. It's nice, it kind of goes up at the front and, you know, stays back here. It's taped back here a lot, doesn't really matter. All this is going to be covered with the pipe insulation later. But now we are ready to paint it silver because it's supposed to look like metal. Alright, this thing's in from being spray painted silver. I didn't do all the back stuff because, like I said, it's going to be covered. Now, in the movie, Wade has his headset modified with what looks like some pipe insulation and zip ties. Now, there's this really crazy way I'm going to make this, using some pipe insulation and zip ties. Ooh, ooh, this is comfortable. I can see why Wade modified it. I added some zip ties that I saw in the picture, and then one end he just has crudely duct taped down to the metal frame, which I find hilarious. I just love that. Alright, now that this foam is on there, we've got the basic shape looking good. I really like how it's just zip tied on there and duct taped on there. It's probably one of my favorite things. But there are a few more details on here. There's like some battery packs, things taped on, and also a little light up here. Instead of actually putting a light blue LED on the front, which you totally could do, but I'm just going to cut a small piece of this translucent blue acrylic uh, that I have left over from my sonic screwdriver build. On either side, right around here, he has these two black circles, and I'm not really sure what they are, but they might be some kind of headphones or speakers, so I have this old broken pair that I'm going to cut off these, paint them black, and glue them on there. Alright, now there's metal inside this, and that's going to be pretty difficult to cut, so maybe if I'm like... Whoa! Oh, okay then. That's a headband. Great. I just glued a little piece of the clear acrylic there just to kind of look like a light and then I cut up some little strips of some black duct tape uh, to add on there, give a little more detail and uh, it's looking pretty good. I also added some little red and blue wires there because he had them in the picture attaching to the light and uh, the accuracy and little details here, I'm really liking this neck piece. I added the speakers as well as a little battery pack on the back and then just some more wire and electrical tape for other gack there.
All right, I am very happy with this DIY neck piece. It's really, you know, DIY by Wade, and I'm, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. Now, from this point, the costume is completed, I guess, because the rest of the items you probably already have, or you could find something similar. First of all, he just wears jeans, and uh, I wear those all the time. Now, from the pictures, it looks like Wade wears some gray Converse shoes. Now, I didn't have the exact pair or could find something at a thrift store, so I have this pair of gray Vans. They're not exactly the same, but, like, who's going to care enough to nitpick about what type of shoes you wear? They're the same color. They're fine. Now, this is pretty much the end of the costume. From here, I guess he wears, like, a belt and some cool haptic gloves. I didn't actually find any that I liked in time for this, but you can get as detailed as you want with those. But anyway, it's time for the big costume reveal. One sec, let me log out of the Oasis real quick. Whew! Alright, that is much better. But make sure you hit that like button and share it with your friends. If you have any questions on this build, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. As well as subscribe to this channel for new videos every other Sunday. Alright, that's it. I'll see ya. Gotta get back to the Oasis!